Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Want to hear another story? Well, excellent. I just happen to have another burr rabbit tale. If you'd like to hear it, I like burr rabbit. As we said last time, burr rabbit, uh, I bet, was asked several times or got a couple of questions from guys asking what burr rabbit means. Well, burr rabbit actually is another way of saying brother rabbit or burr bear being brother bear. This was, uh, goes back a long time ago and apparently was uh, confined mostly, mostly to the southern United States, uh, the terminology there. A lot of country, or a lot of locations have different ways of talking or saying things, and um, that was just one of the ones that were, that was in the southern United States. But, I hope everybody is keeping their hands clean, washing their hands, and keeping our distance, and not touching our face, right? Alright. Well, we're going to get through this without, and... And uh, in order to help you guys get through it, I've got some more stories for you. And this one is called Burr Rabbit and the Pot of Honey. This is good. Burr Rabbit was enjoying a little nibble of some fresh, lush grass when he heard voices. I wonder who that is, he said, and he lifted his head. Who should be he see walking along the path but Burr Bear, Burr Fox, and Burr Raccoon? Now, if you remember, uh, Burr Rabbit had been tricking these guys in the other stories, so he thought he might ought to look, be uh, sharp and look around a little bit. He said, "I better hide." He said to himself, "I'm not sure they're going. They've forgiven me for the trick with the old farmer's hounds." I did the other day. The crows. So Burr Rabbit slipped under the hedge and was soon out of sight. As they got near, Burr Rabbit heard Burr Bear say, I think that Burr Rabbit needs to be taught a lesson, and I know just what I'm going to do. Well, Burr Raccoon pops up. Well, I'm happy to help trick that little rascal of a rabbit, said Burr Raccoon. Me too, said Burr Fox. Then meet me by the old oak tree tomorrow evening, and I'll share my plans with you. I've got them all written on a piece of paper, and I've listed everything we'll need, Burr Bear told them. I'll be there, said Burr Fox. I'll see you tomorrow, said Burr Raccoon. Then the three friends, they went their separate ways. From his hiding place, Burr Rabbit smiled to himself, that old crafty smile that Burr Rabbit does. So, you plan to trick me, do you? Well, now I know, and I'll make sure I'm ready for you. All I need is to see that piece of paper. Hmm. Early the next morning, Burr Rabbit hid near, hid near Burr Bear's house, waiting for Burr Bear to go out and to leave. Burr Rabbit waited, and waited, and waited, and Burr Bear, he said, you must go out soon. He said with a big sigh. Just then, Burr Bear's door opened and out strolled the bear, carrying a small wooden bowl. He yawned and scratched his head as he wandered over to his much-loved uh, berry bush. A one for me and one for the bowl, said Burr Bear as he popped the berry into his mouth. Delicious! One for me and one for the bowl. When the bowl was full, Burr Bear slowly walked back into his house. Burr Rabbit continued to wait. Come on, my friend, when are you going to go out? Burr Rabbit wiggled around to get some feeling back into his cottontail. As he'd been sitting there for a good time, a good long while. Burr Rabbit waited, and he waited, and he was just about to give up when old Burr Bear came out wearing his best fishing hat and carrying his fishing rod. About time, said Burr Rabbit, whispering, hoping, hopping from one foot to the other. Burr Rabbit then watched as Burr Bear slowly ambled along the path and down towards the river. Burr Rabbit smiled and crept out from his hiding place. Wonderful, 
wonderful burr bear will be down at the river for hours. That'll give me plenty of time to look for his plan. Burr rabbit quickly hopped over to burr... <laughs> like, the, like the birds? Burr rabbit smiled and crept out from his hiding place. Wonderful. Burr bear will be down at the river for hours. Burr rabbit quickly hopped over to burr bear's door and gave it a push. It creaked open and burr rabbit hopped inside and carefully closed it behind him. Now just what is that? That's breaking and entering. Trespassing. I mean, he shouldn't be going into somebody else's house without permission. My goodness. Burr Rabbit looked around. What a neat bear you are, he said, impressed at how tidy and clean the uh, bear's house was. Now, where would you leave such an important list? Burr Rabbit asked himself, looking around. Burr Rabbit started to search for the plan. He looked high, and he looked low. He looked underneath things, and he looked in the in on top of things. He finally stood in the middle of the kitchen and looked up. The only place I've not looked is in these, is in these pots on that high shelf over there. I suppose I'd better look in there too. So Burr Rabbit pulled a chair across the floor and put it underneath the shelf. He hopped up and stretched as far as he could. Almost there, he said. He told himself as his paws touched the bottle, the, uh, the big jar. He took it down and carefully opened the, limb, opened the lid. Biscuits, he said, a little bit disappointed. Biscuits and crackers. Burr Rabbit put the pot back, and then he reached as high as he could and carefully took the second pot down. He opened the lid and looked inside. Nuts! Just nuts, he said. It was filled full of nuts. Wild nuts. Flustered, he still hadn't found Burr Bear's plan for getting back at him. Well, Burr Rabbit put the pot back. He then reached as far as he could, just, and just as he thought he had hold, had hold of the third pot, it slipped from his paw and landed on his head. Funk! What the? He, he said. Then he felt something cool and sticky trickle down his ears and down his face and over his shoulders. Ugh. Yucky, this is sticky, muttered Burr Rabbit. Burr Rabbit tried and tried to rub the honey out of his fur, but the more he rubbed, the worse it got. I'd better get out of here, he said. When he got outside, some of the honey had run into his eyes, and he stumbled across the grass and fell into a pile of leaves. Oh, bother, 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 he muttered to himself as he tried to get up. Burr Rabbit was now covered in both honey and leaves, and I that he was a sight to see. Just then, Burr Rabbit heard some whistling. Who can that be, he wondered, as he managed to stand up. To his, eye, to his horror, after he was able to get some of the honey out of his eyes, Burr Rabbit saw Burr Bear coming up the path. Rubbing the honey and leaves out of his eyes, Burr Rabbit looked around for somewhere to hide, but he was too late, because Burr Bear had seen him already. Who are you? asked Burr Bear, his voice quivering. Burr Rabbit realized that Burr Bear didn't recognize him. As a matter of fact, he seemed like he was a little scared about this leaf-covered thing that was in his pathway in front of his house. Ah, Burr Rabbit thinks, I can have some fun here, Burr Rabbit thought, so he started to wave his arms, and as he did, the leaves rustled across his body, making the strangest noise. Please, please don't hurt me, Burr Bear, Burr, Burr Bear said in a hushed voice. I'm not here to hurt you, Burr Bear, said Burr Rabbit. I've been sent by the Will-o'-the-Wisp to warn you. Will-o'-the-Wisp, asked Burr Bear, what have I done to upset them? Now, some of you may wonder what the Will-o'-the-Wisp is. Now, a long time ago, they thought that the Will of the Wisp was a light in the woods. And we talked about, remember, in one of our other stories, 
on Jack Tales about uh, the tale from Ireland about the lights in the woods being Jack who was carrying a jack-o-lantern because he couldn't get into heaven and the devil wouldn't get let him come into his place so he had to wander the countryside with this jack-o-lantern the woods and swamps and areas produce natural light and of course we do have um, fireflies luminescent objects that can be what's called fox fire which is a type of wood that actually glows and it glows pretty bright sometimes and you see that out in the woods and people would that would say a long time ago that that was the will of the wisp and the will of the wisp was always watching supposedly and if you tried to do something mean to somebody will of the wisp would try to fix it so it would backfire on you hmm I think Burr Rabbit ought to worry about that more than Burr Bear. Please, please don't hurt me, he said in a hushed tone. Will o' the Wisp, what have I done to upset them? You see, all creatures did know about the Will o' the Wisp and that you should never, never, never cross them. That's if they're real. If you did, they'd trick you into thinking the wrong, taking the wrong turn as you walked home at night. Or if you were lucky, you just became lost and if you were unlucky they led you into danger mm. they overheard you planning to trick burr rabbit said burr rabbit using the most frightening voice he could they don't like what they don't want you to do that they like him but 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 burr bear said trying to explain that all he wanted and his friends wanted to do was repay Burr Rabbit for all the tricks he'd played on them. Listen, said Burr Rabbit, I, I, you're very lucky they sent me down to warn you. Simply tell Burr Fox and Burr Raccoon you've changed your mind and the will o' the wisp will leave you alone. It will, said Burr Bear. Yes, said Burr Rabbit, but only if you promise to tell Burr Fox and Burr Raccoon you've changed your mind. Oh, Burr Bear said with a large sigh of relief, I will, I will. Good, said Burr Rabbit, pretending to be something he's not. I'll go and tell them now. They'll be very pleased. Thank you, thank you very much, said Burr Bear as he watched Burr Rabbit disappear into the woods. And being all covered with leaves, it's kind of like camouflage. He just kind of blended in, making him even more spooky looking. Once he was out of sight, Burr Rabbit laughed and laughed and laughed till he was almost crying he was laughed so hard. And again, what did Burr Rabbit say? What he always says whenever he thinks he's won a situation like that. What a clever rabbit you are, he said to himself. Then he looked down and saw he was still covered in honey and leaves. And he started to wonder, huh, how do I get out of this mess? So... That's the story of Burr Rabbit, Burr Bear, and the Will o' the Wisps that weren't actually in the story because Burr Rabbit made it up. So that's our story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, as the coming weeks go through here, keep your hands clean, keep your distance between each other, and don't touch your face and try your best not to worry okay there's nothing to be scared of the grown-ups may be acting kind of strange or doing some things that seem to be unusual to you or out of the ordinary but it's all because they care about you they love you and they want to make sure you're safe and healthy so listen to what they say they're doing it for a reason and i'm hoping to see you guys back at school real soon so this is mr scott SRO for, Mad uh, SRO for Hot Springs Elementary School in the mountains of western North Carolina. I'll talk to you guys later. Be safe.